To calculate the acceleration, we look at the forces on all of these different particles. It generally consists of the weight of the particle, the tension in the string acting on the particles, and also for a particle of mass m3, the normal reaction force upwards from the surface. There's no friction in any of these, so we don't need to worry about that. Because these are all attached by inextensible strings, all of the size of the accelerations on the magnitude have to be the same. So if we take Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration, and just take the magnitude of the resultant force and the magnitude of the final acceleration and rearrange it, uh, we can then look at this for each individual particle and compare those. We can then eliminate the tension in the string, which we don't know, in order to find our final answer for the acceleration.